there's an ever expanding universe of awesomeness from glory to glory over here the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstra thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us I have things to say and I got them by paying prices and I'm gonna share them with you tonight and you can have them if you can hear them second Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16 nevertheless when it shall turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away now we read verse 16 right mm -hmm. so verse 17 would be when the veil's taken away yes. veil take it away mm -hmm. now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit is Lord or where the spirit of the Lord is there is what liberty, liberty or freedom a kind of liberty and freedom that you couldn't have on the other side of the veil I hope you can hear this I'm gonna say a lot of things tonight well behind the veil is where we go if you read down to verse 18 we're changed into the same image from glory to glory so it's behind the veil where you go from glory to glory say it's behind the veil, behind the veil. where you go, where you go. From, glory glory. from glory to glory do you go from glory to glory if you're not behind the veil no and certainly not this that he's talking about and those glories are liberties those glories are freedoms yes. freedoms and liberties you're supposed to live in but you can't live in them unless you go behind the veil say go behind the veil, go behind the veil. where the spirit is Lord that's literally what it says but behind the veil that's where we're, we'll be talking about that that's where I'm gonna be preaching from tonight I'm gonna be speaking words I obtained from behind the veil so all the people that are on the other side of that veil who haven't come to know that now the Lord is that spirit mm -hmm. they will be hearing this from the other side of the veil what does it sound like when somebody's speaking through a curtain or a veil it's kind of muffled you don't really get it right is that mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but over here because that's where I'm speaking from behind the veil is hyper expansive meaning it expands behind the veil everything expands from glory to glory right you go from glory to an expanded glory to an expanded glory it's hyper expansive over here where am I preaching from behind the, veil. behind the veil I'm preaching and I'm telling you that it's hyper expansive over here hyper meaning extremely expansive now people that are on the other side of the veil who don't see this would think it's just a small thing it's not really that big of a deal on that side of the veil not that big of a deal to worship the Holy Ghost and know him as God know him as the Spirit Lord are you here mm -hmm. it's not that big of a deal they would say but they're not over here on this side they're not seeing how expansive it is there's an ever expanding universe of awesomeness from glory to glory over here ever expanding people over there can't see it people that don't know don't know and they have a hard time hearing what I'm saying because they don't know and it's muffled to them does this make sense yes, to them it looks like a very small thing worshiping the Holy Ghost knowing him as God the Spirit Lord but it's not a small thing worshiping him as God takes you behind the veil and it becomes bigger on the inside than it is on the outside 
you look at it on the outside and you go oh look at that there's a little there's a curtain there or a door there i could go through it uh, but i'm not going to because nobody in my church does but on the other side of that curtain it's a lot bigger than it looks like on the outside yes. say it's bigger on the inside, on the inside. Than, it on the than it is on the outside and people that are on the inside can see it they can't see it if they're on the outside the people that are on the inside can see it come inside and you can see it but once you've entered behind this veil where the spirit is lord and he becomes the spirit lord to you once you've entered in it grows it expands it becomes all-encompassing holy ghost only becomes the standard which leads into all things become yours say all things become mine, all things become mine. when you come behind this veil and you know the spirit as lord and he becomes the spirit lord to you the things are different over here can you testify to this yes. see I'm not drawing back from this I know what I've seen I know I know what it's like to be behind here mm -hmm. things are different over here and it's a different headspace altogether it's not the same as out there on the other side of the veil mm -hmm. it's different over here it's a completely different headspace meaning you think about things completely different as if it was just flipped over and you're on a completely other side of the veil mm -hmm. Jesus is not the Spirit Lord that's a different headspace than most people think what did it say now the Lord is that Spirit or now the Spirit is Lord right mm -hmm now Jesus is not the Spirit Lord Jesus is Lord in the way that he is Lord but he's not here he is seated at the right hand of the Father and sent the Spirit Lord to be with us now the Lord is that Spirit now in this dispensation we know him we come behind this veil and know him mm -hmm. and go from glory to glory by knowing him does this make sense yes jesus is not the spirit lord in fact jesus when he was here called the spirit lord luke chapter 4 verse 18 the spirit of the lord is upon me literally the spirit lord because he hath anointed me an anointing is not a he he the spirit lord it was upon jesus because he the spirit lord hath anointed jesus to do what jesus needed to do Amen. and jesus followed him jesus obeyed him jesus called the spirit lord by the way the holy ghost likes that name spirit lord he likes it say the holy ghost likes it the holy ghost likes it he's a person he likes certain things and he dislikes other things and as you get to know him you can know the things he likes and the things he doesn't like I'm telling you from behind the veil he likes it he likes the name Spirit Lord now the Lord is that spirit and we go from glory to glory even as by or with him the Spirit Lord if you want to go from glory to glory that's hyper expansive it's going to be with him the Spirit Lord yes. are you getting this mm -hmm. second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 10 for even that which was made glorious had no glory in this respect by reason of the glory that excels the glory that excels means to throw beyond it throws you beyond where you are it throws your thinking beyond where you were thinking before what does the glory 
it's that glory that excels it's that glory that expands it throws you beyond where you are it throws you beyond where the church has been ever it throws you beyond the restraints of conventional thinking and religious thinking beyond behind the veil with the spirit lord mm -hmm. which you're not going to get if you don't know him as now the lord is that spirit and that's where you find out where he is god who's god the holy ghost is god where do you find this out behind the veil you meet him and then you go with him from glory to glory and it throws you beyond all the things you were in before well i dare you i challenge you to worship him as god the holy ghost set aside your religious thinking and just do it oh i don't know if i can yes you can he is god well, what if he gets mad at me he won't get mad at you if he's God That's right. Right? right and if he's not God who cares if he gets mad at you right. but he is God and he likes it when you call him the Spirit Lord because yes. that's what he is that's who he is but start slow say I worship you Holy Ghost you know <laughs> you start slow because you're you're peeking in behind that veil you just start slow because what things are going to change on the other side of this veil you understand mm -hmm. you start slow and let your eyes begin to adjust to this new place because it's different what are you seeing now behind the veil now the lord is that spirit and you begin to behold the liberties that he reveals to you let your eyes begin to adjust to this place viewing it listen viewing it will cause an expansion viewing it will cause an expansion you will expand it gets bigger on the inside than it is on the outside the outside begins to look very small i look at people who are not back here anymore even people that i've looked up to in the past and respected and it looks very small to me out there it's so much bigger in here are you here i'm just i'm letting you know the way it is and i'm preaching from this room of holy ghost worship and in here out there looks super small and you hear those phrases that everybody has said for years and years and they seem tinny and small because frankly they're on the other side of the veil now I may be in my 50s and I may look like I'm in my 30s but I'm a thousand years old on the inside over here behind the veil what can you do with that I'm a leader of the free world is there a free world where would the free world be behind the veil where there's freedom yeah. are you here yeah. and you become listen you become a leader in the free world say the free world, the free world. there's freedom liberty behind here mm -hmm. that isn't on the other side is this making sense yes. and it's ever expansive freedom mm -hmm. and i'm a time lord and bow ties are cool Amen. but over here you learn that you take it all and a little bit is no longer satisfying to you say I take it all, I take it all. the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 3 21 that all things are yours mm -hmm. where do you get that behind this veil walking with the Spirit Lord it says let no man glory in men for all things are yours either in the world or the world to come say the world, the world. or the world to come, the world to come. that's now and then yes. 
say now, now. And, then. and then all things are yours things. your Bible says that mm -hmm. where is that that's got to be revealed to you somewhere it's behind the veil with the Spirit Lord yes. glory to glory is that expansive mm -hmm. is that hyper expansive yes. it has to be or it couldn't be true right. but it be true behind the veil mm -hmm. well in this place I take it all it is mine say it is mine it is mine well the Holy Ghost is not happy with most people because no one has decided to take it they've decided to leave it and they've chosen their religious thinking instead of taking it let alone all the church is chosen over and over to be religious instead of stepping through behind that veil where the spirit is Lord and learning how to walk with him and worship him as God in the earth today but it requires a massive change where's the change take place we're changed in us we're changed from glory to glory mm -hmm. even as by the Spirit Lord a few have dared to go here but someone must Say someone must. someone must this all looks small and insignificant from the outside but on the inside all things are yours what do you want where do you want to be you want to stay outside with the small and insignificant or you want to come on inside with me where all things are yours and we end up taking it all we end up taking it all yes. <laughs> well if you're in here listen meaning if you're in here if you can hear it take the next sphere around you consider the moon the moon would be a sphere if you were the earth what would be the next sphere the moon take the next sphere around you it's already in your orbit add it to yourself and expand let the naysayers become silent to you the news media has become nothing but political propaganda for the left but that's not my plan says the Spirit Lord you're my plan my words in your mouth now that's a winning proposition the Holy Ghost's words in your mouth is a winning proposition when tempted fast your words and speak only mine and you will see my glory begin to manifest itself and it the glory comes with unending expansion remember his glory the glory of the Spirit Lord shall fill the earth and his glory comes with expansion first Timothy chapter 6 verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but trust in the living God who's the living God the Holy, the Holy Ghost the Spirit Lord trust in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy where is the Spirit Lord now he's in the earth we trust in him we walk with him and we worship him and as we do he brings us behind the veil and gives us richly all things to enjoy mm -hmm. it's ever expanding all things is all things all things are yours in this space 
where you worship the Holy Ghost the Living God the Spirit Lord and he begins to reveal these things and takes you from one glory to the next to the next to the next Holy Ghost I thank you that these people have been affected greatly by this word and things have begun to change in them that will cause them to know you and walk with you as the living God God in the earth today the Spirit Lord and worship you and learn how to go from glory to glory even as by you and with you we thank you Holy Ghost that that is happening right now and we give you all the glory and the praise in Jesus name Amen. Amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost you are the Spirit Lord I thank you that you are increasing me and expanding me behind the veil from glory to glory that includes my finances ever expansive and I give you all the glory in Jesus name amen amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth to 